What's up, gang? Shondon Plus back with another video. Now, today I'm going to be giving you 10 brilliant tips and facts that you need to know before or if you already have a YouTube channel just to make your channel get better or grow the way you want it to grow. The way that I carry my shoulders every day, yeah, that should be heavyweight. heavyweight. Yeah, that should be heavyweight. heavyweight. So I gotta dedicate. Heavyweight. I set an example for my little brother, so I gotta demonstrate. Heavyweight. Gotta show him better way. Now, before we start this video, I want you guys to make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get it going. Tip number one, start right now. The longer you wait, the more you're hurting your dreams and your channel. I know that YouTube channel is your dream. I know you want to be a good YouTuber or at least a popping YouTuber. So what you have to do is start it. If you're just waiting, you're just looking at everybody else's channel. How many times have you watched a video was like, man, I had this idea before. It probably happened a couple times, right? That's because you didn't start your channel and already do that. So what you need to do is start your channel. Tip number two, learn how YouTube works. Over time, you'll get better it takes time to get better. So you have to, you know, learn how, you know, how to search and look for videos, learn how to post videos. You just have to educate yourself on the app YouTube. So the more time you take to educate yourself about the YouTube app or the YouTube browser, the more you know. And the more you upload videos, I know if you look at yourself five months from now and you're recording videos consistently, that your videos are going to get better. So the video you just recorded that day and post it is going to look a lot better from five months ago and when you go watch that video from five months ago it's going to be like super cringy but that also shows a lot of growth and exponential growth is good on youtube because what do you want to do with your channel grow as big as you possibly can tip three develop a strategy videos about when you record your videos or what are your videos about and a strategy on when you'll post your videos when you'll promote your videos and how you're making everything around your channel come together basically so make sure you guys develop a strategy for tip number three. Tip number four, find your niche. The niche is like a click. So you know how the cool guys hang with the cool guys in school and the jocks hang with the jocks and the stoners hang with the stoners and the goth kids hang with the goth kids. It's kind of like that, but you have to understand who you are. It's like you can't be a jock and be you know, hanging out with the goth kids. I mean, you can do that, but on YouTube, if you're doing that, you're just mixing yourself around and you're not going to get a lot of growth because there's not a lot of goth kids that want to see a jock, you know? There's a lot of goth kids that want to see another goth kid and learn from another goth kid or socialize with another goth kid. I'm sorry to be throwing these terms around. This is just high school terms so everybody can understand, but for niche, that's basically the easiest way I can explain that for me to you. That would be tip number four. Find your niche. Tip number five. Confirm your value. Make sure you're voicing what you bring into the table with your YouTube. You can always make an introduction video about what you're making your YouTube videos about. Like I did, you can check my previous videos out about what I'm doing on my YouTube channel. And make sure that you stand on that. So make sure if you're becoming a fitness teacher that you're telling your you know, subscribers that you're becoming a fitness teacher or you're a fitness teacher. Make sure your value is out there. Make sure that whatever you are or whatever you're becoming to be, is basically right in front of the faces of your subscribers and viewers so they know exactly what they're looking at. And that would be tip number five, confirm your value. Tip number six, invest in the right equipment. Now, when you invest in better equipment, you will have better quality videos. See, I started my channel off recording from a phone. I bought a camera so the production of my videos could be better and I could also be accessible to my phone during the video. If I want to put my phone screen on the camera, you know, I could do that. Also, I have a light in my room, which gives me better lighting for my video, which is something I invested in. I also invested in a laptop, some speakers. You know, the more equipment you invest in with your YouTube channel, building around your YouTube channel, is going to help your YouTube channel. So that's step number six, invest in the right equipment. Step number seven, create a template for your videos. So what that means is that when you're making videos, keep it, you know, the same, not saying making all the same videos, but the way you introduce yourself, you know how I have my intro. What's up gang? Sean Nine Plus back here with another video. I do that a lot and I have my intro come in. You know, make sure that your channel basically looks like your own TV show because that's what it is. It's just your YouTube. When people are watching you, they'll know what to expect at this point. But when you get to the chunk in the video, that's when they're going to be watching you. So you want to make sure you have a good intro and outro and a good template set up around that so that you will be very progressive with your growth on YouTube. Tip number eight, 
love your analytics so when you're dropping videos there's a option you can see the analytics on your videos in real time in the past couple days going dating all the way back to your start of your youtube channel so as you see yourself grow you can see the videos on your channel that do the best and the videos on your channel that do the worst in the videos on your channel that get the most exposure in the videos on your channel that get the least amount of exposure so what you want to do is just aim to not recreate but you know re-spark that flame that you've been sparking in those videos where you get the most exposure and the most views on your channel so you could keep duplicating that and grow better so that's tip number eight love analytics tip number nine verify your channel without verifying your channel on youtube you won't be able to go live live stream for more than 15 minutes and you won't be able to make a custom thumbnail now if you really know youtube you know thumbnails mean a lot and you know that the more creative your thumbnail is, the more attraction it brings to your video. So if you can't create a thumbnail uh, from just because you can't verify your YouTube, then you're automatically hurting your channel. So what you need to do to verify your YouTube is go to settings and verify your channel with a phone number. You'll get a code and send it. I can make a video if you guys want and make sure you'll have your account secure. So when you verify your channel, you'll have a good secure account and you'll know that your account is in good standing and you can also check what you can do and what you can't do with your account when you verify it. So that is tip number nine, verify your channel. And last but not least, last but not least, make sure you design your icon and banner for your channel. That means your icon that pops up on YouTube, the little circle, and your channel art, which is the banner for your channel. So make sure that you have a appealing, eye-grabbing banner. So when someone clicks on your profile, they'll be like, oh, this is nice. You know, just to make it look cute and, and makes it appealing to others to see your channel and actually want to click on it and interact with your videos. So that's how you get more subscribers, likes, and comments. Yeah, make sure you guys design an icon and make sure you got had make sure you have good channel art and that is the last tip for the 10 tips that i'm bringing you to start your youtube channel so if you haven't started make sure you follow rule one by starting your channel and all the way down make sure you have a checklist you can write these down you know and that will conclude the video make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video and the video information was very helpful comment anything you want below if you want me to make more how-to videos comment that below and comment what videos you want me to make how to with the YouTube channel. And make sure you guys check out my social medias. They're gonna be linked in the description. And my Instagram's right here. And also, make sure you guys, you know, stay safe. Shout out. Whoa. Whoa. Project Blue Bean, Blue Bean. Whoa.